we're out early. We're just going to have a look. This is a small block, um, not been on here for a while, close to a quarry. Um, we've got some syndicate guys on here, they put some new high seats up, so we're just going to go and uh, just check the location. What we have to do is check the seats every once every six months, so we do a report, uh, health and safety, um, following all the good. Um, a good advice. I want to make sure they've got signage on them, they're secure. Um, also just confirm exactly the location so we can send grids into the owners and the forest management team. But at the same time we'll just have a look round. On pieces of ground which we've got syndicated we've still got a responsibility to, to sort of manage it. So if we don't come on a bit of ground for a period of time ourselves um, just need to see what's going on. And this time of the, this time of year now the books are getting very territorial. We'll just have a look at the marking check some of the trees, some of the hardwoods for fraying activity and just make an assessment on sort of deer numbers basically. So not necessarily going to shoot anything, um, but just, just to check around. Probably a young buck if it appears um, we may take. I just want to have a look first of all and see what's what. Probably takes about an hour, hour and a half to stoke it, hopefully before the midges get out because they're getting bad now. Nice morning, still very cold for the time of year, but good morning. Well, that's about us. We've had a nice little check round. It's absolutely gorgeous morning. There's a little bit of warmth um, coming in the sun now from what was actually quite cold for the time of year. It's been incredibly cold in the morning. There was some nice weather, but um, not until after sort of 9, 10 o'clock when it's warmed up. There's a bit of warmth coming through. 
or quite a cold easterly wind. Um, <clears throat> seen quite a lot of doe activity, just one good buck actually. Not seen any small bucks, but with a buck like that on the patrol, on the patrol I expect a lot of the little lads will be keeping well out of the way. We've quite a bit of barking in the wood, which is interaction between deer and not us. Um, but a nice morning, it's not all about shooting deer. We really just wanted to have a look around. We would have taken a young co buck if there'd have been one uh, presented himself, but obviously they had other ideas. But I mean, he's a super buck, and uh, probably you know, shots don't get much easier than that. They just sort of stood for long enough on a banking, sort of busy marking. But it's a deer that I would leave in here, spread his genes in Easter Rut. He's really a mature prime animal, no wish or desire to take a deer like that. And primarily we would just take some of the smaller books uh, like I said but they've been in um, they've been hiding this morning can't blame them really but breakfast time I think beautiful Okay, so um, that's opening day doors and my own preference for this time of year is I've been watching and monitoring the doors throughout the book season so I've got a pretty good idea where they are throughout all of my ground and most of the doors have done really well this year, there's very few I haven't got kids, most of them have got twins and I've seen two or three triplets. This is a couple of deer, it's across from the farmhouse actually, this field's been under stone, under sown with uh, stubble turnips which are just coming through for the sheep and I've been watching these two, there's a door, a buck kid and a door kid on here, this is the door kid. So I kind of like to where I can and when I've got flexibility, I'm clearly we're not talking about commercial forestry blocks here where you've got to be a bit harder on deer. I can be selective about what I shoot, the, the, the landowner here is happy with me to keep a balanced population so what I tend to try to do on ground like this is I'll where, where a doe's got a couple of kids, I'll, I'll shoot one of, the, one of the kids. I'll leave the other two, or if I need to reduce numbers even more, then obviously I'll, I'll take the other kid as well. If it's an old doe um, past the sell-by day, I would prefer to leave the youngsters a little bit longer so they get worldly wise, fully happy to look after themselves, and then I'll shoot the older doe and the young kids can come on to fill the void. Um, that's the way I do it. I'm not saying that's the only way, but that's the way I like to do it. And as I said, clearly you can't do that on commercial conifer plantations. Um, so we've got a nice stubble field, nice morning. It's going to be a grand day today. Um, shot placement, I think it's fairly, fairly good. Although there was a bit of a, it did sound a bit strange actually. It was kind of a, a, a bit of a ploppy kind of sound. So I just wondered whether I pulled it back a little bit, but you couldn't really get it any better than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it down onto one of these trees and just do a quick suspended growlick and then we're about 500 yards from the house so we don't have 
we don't have many air miles getting this venison back onto the table and this will be lovely eating. This is like spring lamb. Well, we're down on the farm today, it's a nice uh, evening and we've got the new Ruger Competition 227 Auto on test and we're prim primarily after rabbits to, uh, tonight, so that'll be interesting. Uh, we sighted it in earlier uh, with the Norma Subsonic 22. They're fantastically accurate at 50 yards uh, in the Ruger 1022. We're getting you know, minute groups, which is fantastic. So we sighted it in at 50 yards. We're gonna be walking the hedgerows, uh, see if we can flush out some rabbits, sit and wait, walk, stalk, off the sticks, wherever um, occurs, and then we're going out a bit earlier, a uh, bit later. We'll go to the clay pigeon ground, where there's a lot of rabbits causing damage and undermining a lot of the uh, the clay traps. So anyway, let's uh, let's crack on and uh, see what we can get. I go some rabbits over there by the. Uh, Hedge line where the pigeons are flighting over. So we're going to skirt around, go downwind. The wind isn't uh, very favourable at the moment, to be honest with you. Uh, but we'll be very, very quiet and uh, we'll just sit underneath the, uh, the trees over there. Okay. <sighs> right, I've moved through the long grass now and. Uh, I've got a bear lying down the edge of this hedgerow and a couple of rabbits have just popped in. Uh, the wind's not fantastic, but we'll just wait here a little bit and see what pop, pops. Oh, one's got to come back out again. It's about 40 yards away. I'm just going to... It's facing left, so I'm going to wait and see. No, there he's moved quick before he goes. Nice. Yep. Yeah, he's down, that's great. It's about 42 yards, that's really good. I'm pleased with that. There you go, that's the first rabbit. Yeah, that's 42 yards with the, uh, with the comp, the Norma. I'm pleased with that. All right, let's head off to the uh, clay pigeon ground and see if we can get some more. That's a clean kill straight in the head, so he's down. That's good, that's one down. That's straight in the head, but he wasn't very far away, he's only about 18 yards away. But it's nice and quiet, this rifle, isn't it? Very quiet. Oh, there's a sort of blonde or beige colour rabbit just come out and I'm trying to have a go. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be quick. Yeah, 
I saw him spoke to me, went off. Never mind. It's free out there at the moment. Right. One, two, three. All right, quick. There you are, he's just, he's just stopped on that edge of that lip there. Nice. He has one down. Right. That one ran to the left. Right. There's another one, he's just behind the first one. I'm going to give it another You can only see his head. Yep. <laughs> nice, that's two. That's brilliant. That was, I suppose that's the benefit of having a, a semi-automatic. A quick shot after that where you don't have to move your hands. That's good, that's two more in the bag. I must say as well, this little loophole scope, it's a, um, a VX3 HD. It's only two and a half to eight power. I've got it set on six power here. And it's all you need in a little two to rim fire. You don't want it too heavy. And hopefully you'll see through the, uh, the trigger cam that the clarity is fantastic. I mean, it's eight o'clock now. It's going to be dark in about 15 minutes. So, um, no, very, very good. Pleased with that. It's getting a bit dark now. I want to go and walk around the uh, fields and the hedgerow. So, oh God, look. There's always a way so Let's just pop down. I can only just see his head. Nice. <laughs> right, there you go. Yeah, it's never over till it's over, is it? There you go. Right, so we've had uh, four in here and I, I actually missed two as well. Uh, but we'll pick up the rabbits and we'll go out to the fields. Well, tonight we've been out with the uh, new Ruger uh, 1022 competition. And I've got to say, this is the best incarnation you can get on the 1022. Um, most people know, I mean, 1022 has been along for a long, long time now, and it's one of the staple semi-automatic rim files on the market. But quite often you buy a 1022, you may upgrade the trigger, put a different stock, a new barrel, etc. This competition does away with all of that. You've got a fully adjustable cheek piece, lateral, horizontal, really nice dense polymer. You've got a milled aluminium receiver now, fantastic BX trigger. Quick release magazine with the 10 rotary shot magazine, which is reliable if you kept clean. Extended bolt mag, a uh, bolt uh, handle, making operation very easy. Integral Picatinny rail, which is fantastic for using a normal scope or a night vision or thermal unit. Um, you have the, the simple cross bolt system here as well. Heavy fluted blue barrel, and it's a uh, screw cut for um, half inch UNEF. If you can hear me above these magpies, they'll be the next on the list. But say, so we've been out today, and uh, we've only been here half an hour, and I'm using the Norma Subsonics. It's the most accurate and the most reliable. It had 100% uh, feeding, no problems with hang-ups, and it ejected perfectly. And we've had four nice rabbits uh, within literally the last 20 minutes. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.